to a Lucas Critics. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does help the channel grow. So we got some bad news for the Hellboy, the Crooked Man movie. Something that I was looking forward to when we got the news that they were going to adapt this to live action. They were gonna do a small budget. Mike Mignola was going to be, be involved in this. The only thing I was worried about is getting a, a director to tell this story. They chose Brian Taylor. And if you don't know who that is, he did Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, which was trash. He did Crank, the first Crank movie was pretty good. Um, it's not something that I'll rewatch, uh, but it was it was a good film for me, but not to a lot a lot other people. So it was a to me a bad choice getting somebody like him to tell this story. I would have I would have liked for him to got got they would have gotten somebody better to do this, but they chose him, and we got reports that this movie is going straight to streaming. And I was worried about this, um, my last video that I did about Hellboy because I didn't get a release date. You know, we was getting release dates for the UK and some other um, countries, but we weren't getting a release date here in the States. And I'm like, what's going on? Where's the release date here in the States? And now we, we got news that it's going to be dropping on streaming, you know, um, Prime Video night, not $19.99, $19.99 all that. Um, I think that was the price I saw, but you're getting, you're, I mean, this is just terrible news for me. If this movie, that's bad sign. That's a very bad sign. That means this movie's possibly trash. If they just say, hey, it's not going, it's not doing too well over there in uh, the other countries. Let's just drop it on streaming. If this movie is bad, this is the end of, um, a live action Hellboy. This is the end right here, people. I don't think we're gonna see another live action Hellboy for a very long time. You know, you got the David Harbour uh, movie that flopped. And you got this that's made on a $20 million budget. Um, the, cr the creator was involved in this. They chose, I just made, I think they just made a bad decision with the director and some other things they had, they, they they did with this. If this movie is bad, I've not seen the film, but this is not a good sign when you put stuff straight to streaming instead of, you know, putting it in theaters. So they know they seen something that they don't like. And I just think this is the end of Hellboy. And it sucks because I love this story. I think this story could have really been epic if you get the right people around this. And like I said, the creator was involved in this. But he just, he, I don't think, I don't know how much say so he had with this film, but that, that, that's just terrible news when I saw this, man. When I saw this, cause I was really excited. I didn't like the, uh, the design of Hellboy, but some some pictures made it look like, okay, cool. Okay, I like, I like that, that visual of him. Um, the, tra the first teaser trailer, everybody said it was trash. I agree with it. Looked like a fan film. The second trailer did good. Um, the people who they got with the film, you know, uh, the Reverend who they got cast as the Reverend. I like the guy who they got as um, Tom. It's just Jack, you chose a lesser known actor in Jack Kesey. Not too many people are familiar with him. You know, David Harbour, he's coming off of Stranger Things and stuff like that. You know, Ron Perman, a lot of people know who he is. He knew who he was. They knew a little bit about him before he took Hellboy. Because he'd been in a lot of films. And he did a lot of voice actors. Voice over acting. But you chose this guy. Yeah. This this this, this really sucks. For for um, the Hellboy franchise. I think this is a done deal. Um, if this movie is this trash. And it looks like. That's how that's how it's gonna be, you know. Like I said, I've not seen the film, but I just think we're not gonna see another live action Hellboy for a very long time. So maybe we'll get more animation. That's fine, but right now they're just probably gonna pull the plug on that for right now because that's two strikes. But post comments, let me know what you guys think. I'll get it you guys later. Let me know. Are you do are you still hopeful that this movie's good? 
Do you think that was a bad decision getting Brian Taylor and probably having the creator get too involved? Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel.